How do you view yourself and why? Um, man, that's a, it's a difficult question. And to be honest, it's changed a lot throughout my uh, career. Um, the beginning years, I mean, I was just, I was trying my hardest just to get recognized, just to be, uh, in the talks of one of the top tight ends in the league. Um, and now that I am, I mean, I'm just uh, appreciated. I'm, uh, I'm honored. And, uh, I mean, a guy like George Kittle, I mean, before it was Gronk and if you're, if you're comparing me to Gronk, you're comparing me to one of the greatest to ever play the game. Um, and I think it's the same thing with George Kittle. I mean, what he's been able to do his first two, three years in the league um, and just take it by storm and show us that uh, the, the tight end position is evolving. Um, I, I'm just I'm just honored to be in the, in the in the conversation at this point in my career. All I'm trying to do is go out there and win Super Bowls and win football games. Speaking of Super Bowls. Your brother, Jason Kelsey, center with the Eagles, of course, said that his Super Bowl parade was far better than yours. The Eagles parade was far better than the, than the Chiefs parade. Your response? I mean, obviously, he's a little biased. Um, <laughs> that and he, he wasn't even at the Kansas City parade. Uh, so for him to make that assumption is silly. Look at him. He even looks silly. Um, on top of that, it's just it, J Jason. Jason's very confident in what he does, and uh, obviously, um, obviously, what he did on that day was was special, and it will never be taken away. And um, even I enjoyed every bit of it. And I'll, I'll I, I go back and I try and reminisce of the day because I was so proud of him. Uh, but uh, I think it's silly for him to make that assumption. Way to call your brother out. I absolutely love it. I want to ask you this. So obviously Tom Brady leaves and a lot of people thought he potentially left the conference because of you guys. So the Patriots have been the dynasty for so many years. And now, honestly, many of us are looking to the Chiefs that you could become the next dynasty. What's it like to be the hunted team? Um, to be honest, I mean, last year we knew we were getting everybody's uh, best shot. Um, being that we do have Patrick Mahomes, I mean, the, the, the MVP of the league two years ago and this past year, MVP of the Super Bowl. I mean, the guy's taking the league by storm and can win any football game at any point in time um, or however much time is left on the clock. And I think from there, um, having that mentality, Coach Reed does an unbelievable job of setting us up week in, week out, knowing that we are going to get our best shot or we are going to get opponents' best shot uh, – because they feel like they have to bring that type of energy, that type of talent, that type of uh, mentality to, every, to the game when they come and play the Kansas City Chiefs. So knowing that, um, yeah, it makes every single, every single game a little bit more intense, a little bit more meaningful. And I think it just, uh, it's, a, it's all, all it really does is build up the accountability throughout the team, throughout the, the players to make sure they're doing what we got to do throughout the week. Travis, you've had a thousand plus yard season the last four years, and obviously it's not just about your skill set. A lot of your game, you you build a lot off of the emotion. And I'm thinking about this upcoming season and how they've been speculating a lot about the coronavirus, the impact, the fact that it's all it's in all likelihood football games would be played without fans in attendance. I think that would have an effect on anybody, but especially somebody like you. Um, I, I don't think it's going to affect your game, but I'm talking about the enthusiasm about the game. How do you believe that's going to affect you? How do you believe that's going to affect the game of football? Knowing millions are watching on television, if that happens, but without fans in attendance, what's that going to be like for you? Have you thought about it at all? Um, I haven't thought about it much at all, but um, I'm, I'm more of a – I like to think of it as I have passion uh, more than I have um, – emotion for the game because uh emotion okay. comes comes and goes it goes up and down like uh like a roller coaster uh, passion is just it, it sits in your heart and, and 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 it's it's within you and um you know it's just like i, I started the, this playing this game in the backyard i started playing this game in in middle school and and going to going to practice without any fans without any sounds i mean nowadays practice is is built up with you know music and 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 sometimes coaches put crowd noises in the background to try and simulate a game or, but at the same time, it's, I still enjoy playing this game in the backyard, going, going out and just playing catcher um, or getting the guys together, playing a sandlight game. That's just who I've always been. So I don't think it'll affect me. Um, at the same time, it is going to be very awkward playing in a stadium uh, 
with nobody in it. I, 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 can't, I can't even imagine doing that and, and being in uniform and playing a real game. Uh, it, it, I can't even uh, fathom it, really. Travis, I know it's any given Sunday. You got to prepare for the next team. Any team could beat any team on a given Sunday in the NFL. But I want the name of the AFC team that you think poses the biggest risk to your guys repeating as AFC champs. And why? <clears throat> um, I mean, obviously, we haven't seen uh, the draft. We haven't seen a full uh, offseason uh, of free agency. So you, you don't know who's going to end up where. Um, but I honestly, I honestly think it'll be an, a, a rematch of Super Bowl 54. I think the San Francisco 49ers are one heck of a team. They're very, they're very, very well coached, um, very disciplined in, in, in who they are. And, uh, obviously they're very talented in who they are. Travis, last question here. I know I brought it up earlier, but I just want to get you on the record with this, obviously playing in the AFC. What was your reaction when Brady made that move and left? <clears throat> um, I think shock, shock, just like everybody else in the world. I mean, it, I, I, I say it's kind of like LeBron going to LA, even though he went to Miami first and changed the, uh, changed mm -hmm. jerseys there. Um, but it's like, you just can't, it, you can't f really imagine it until it, until you actually see Tom Brady in a, in a Bucks Jersey down in Tampa playing football. And, um, I still can't imagine it. I, I, I we're just going to have to wait. In the, and see how everything plays out uh, in September and in our August and September. And hopefully we get the ball rolling for football to start here soon. But uh, I, I was very surprised that he would leave um, the legacy that he had in New England. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.